Hi, you guys. This is Tuck and O'Neill here at ESPN Orlando, 1080 The Team. Now, you've found this at our website, ESPNFlorida.com. We trust you'll like it. I'm Jerry O'Neill. That would make him Mike Tuck. Today, we come to you live, as we have over the last weeks, at Fuego by Sosa Cigars. And Fuego by Sosa Cigars is in the downtown area, downtown Disney, Pleasure Island area of downtown Disney. They have a retail shop as well, the finest cigars, Cuban tradition, and at Fuego by Sosa Cigars, your family. Absolutely, and that's what we found out is that we've been welcomed with open arms here. A wide variety of cigars to choose from, full liquor bar to entertain yourself, and we like coming out here to talk a little sports. Plus, they've got the indoor lounge, and as you'll notice, as I deliver some backhands to Mike verbally, he could go to the outdoor patio as well, if we go there. Where are we headed? We're, we're in the NBA, uh, when we're doing this recording, we're in the NBA's Eastern and Western Conference Finals. Now, all we've seen to this point on taping day is one game in each. What are we gonna see the rest of the way? I think we'll see, obviously, at least three more. That's easy math for you. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. Okay. I think we're only going to see three more in the Miami-Boston series. Right. You know, I've been pretty consistent. Once Derrick Rose went down with his torn ACL, this became wide open for Miami. And it, it's kind of unfortunate because we've been looking forward to Chicago and Miami basically all year, from last year to this year. And when he went down and out, it opened up the door for somebody else to emerge. And that somebody happened to be Boston. But they're limping right now, and they're limping badly. And it's not to any detriment to them or what they've accomplished, but Paul Pierce is ragging right now. Ray Allen is about a sh half of what he normally is. It's basically Rondo and Kevin Garnett and whatever else they can squeeze out of the rest of the team. You saw that last night. They basically wore down in the second half at the hands of Miami. LeBron and Wade, it's there for the take, and I expect them to take it pretty quick. Uh, I think you're right, and you know, I feel like Doc Rivers you know, is the type of coach these guys are going to respond to, but I just don't think they have the animals. Uh, we've seen since the early days, actually after, what, three games in the Indiana-Miami series, it's been the LeBron and Dwayne Wade show. And even though it's pretty obvious, you know, they're not fooled by not having Chris Bosh, we don't know when or if he will become available in this series. But I, I agree with you, they don't need him. And, you know, to hear LeBron talk about how this year is uniquely different than having experienced the play together in the postseason a year ago, Obvious, these two guys are two of the most incredible athletes on the planet, and uh, they really are leading this team. Yeah, and, and they're smarter. They're you know they're, they're so intelligent as to the IQ of the game of basketball and their ability to expose the weaknesses of Boston, the lack of size or the lack of shot blocking ability. Uh, they're really taking advantage yeah. of that. And you know, one thing that you know I've heard and I don't really buy into necessarily. Why well, I think they've gotten better together. I mean, that thing that happens naturally sure. when Edward, anyone plays together for a long time. They didn't just figure this out. I mean, they won a ton of games last year. They got within two games of a championship last year. The way some people are acting like they finally got it. They know how to play with each other. Are you kidding me? They, they figured it out immediately because they're great players, and great players adjust to each other's games. Now, is it a little bit easier right now, I think, for them to find a flow offensively because both of them can dominate without Bosch in there? Yeah, it's probably helped them out a little bit, but I, you know, I don't think this was suddenly, wow, they, they got it. I think Miami's had it for a while. The next step in the process, though, beating either San Antonio or Oklahoma City, that's going to be a bigger challenge. And we're going to do brief, uh, you know, synopsis or, uh, of that series as well. We've only seen one game in it when we sit here to tape. But I think we're going to see duplication of this, which is close ball game. But I, I'm concerned about uh, the ability for o uh, uh, Oklahoma City to get to the basket. They, they settle for a lot of perimeter shots where you look at uh, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, even Tim Duncan in and around the basket. I think it's gonna be the difference in the series. I think two things have to change. One, Serge Ibaka needs to be on the floor. And if Scott Brooks doesn't figure that out, Scott Brooks might not be coaching this team much longer. And that, that's hard to say about a coach that's done so much in such a short amount of time, but it's ridiculous that he's playing 22 minutes, they can't guard the basket, and they have the number one shot blocker in the league on the bench. That's unacceptable to me. 
they can have enough offense with him on the floor. They have to play with a bigger lineup. They have to play with him in the lineup. I think if they do that, you saw how, I mean, San Antonio had an insanely hot shooting fourth quarter. They were terrific in coming back to win that game. I think we're still in for a very long series. I picked the Thunder in seven. I'm going to stick to it because I saw a lot of things I liked out of them as well. The only thing you're going to find is the Thunder on your parade for that one because that's not going to happen. All right. Uh, and we pick it up from here every weekday, three to seven. Duncan O'Neal, today again in our surroundings at Fuego by Sosa Cigars in the Pleasure Island area of downtown Disney. They got the retail store in the other part of downtown Disney, full service liquor bar here, indoor outdoor patio, and a wide variety of cigars with a Cuban tradition. You're gonna love Fuego by Sosa Cigars at Fuego, your family.